First make a slip knot, then holding the needle tips next to each other in your left hand, place the slip knot on the bottom needle or the one that's closest to you. Snug up your slip knot and secure it with your index finger. Tuck the tail out of the way and wrap under the needles away from you and toward you over the top five times to cast on five stitches onto each needle. Then you're going to want to hold the yarn behind with your left finger and pull the bottom needle out. So you're pulling the needle out that has the slip knot on it, which is now on the cable. Work across the stitches on the needle, the loops on the needle. So for the catkin shawl, that's knit four, purl one. Then you're going to turn and work back. So we're not going near those loops on the, that are resting on the cable right now. So you're going to turn. We're going to now, the second row is slip one purl wise with yarn in back and knit four. And then you want to repeat those two rows three more times. When you do that, you will have four garter stitch ridges on the right side, which is the side facing you after you've completed those rows before you turn. You will see four slip stitches along the edge where you're working those pearls and slipping them on the next row. Next, you're going to knit four, slip the last stitch purlwise with yarn in back. And then you want to turn so that those slip stitches are facing you. And now you need to pick up three stitches along this edge under the three slip stitches that are not on either end. You want to make sure you come under both legs of the slip stitches. And now you should have eight stitches on your right needle. Slide the other needle tip into the loops that you left on the cable. And your slip knot should be close to the tip. So now you're gonna pull that off, bring it to the back. You can tug on it to undo the slip knot. Now you're gonna slip one purlwise with yarn and back. Knit four. And that concludes the garter tab cast on, and you can continue with the instructions for the shawl.